Over there behind me, that you probably can't see on the video, is the pink salt lake at Torre Vieca. Now this is not the photography that I had planned for this week, but uh, circumstances have forced my hand. And if I'm honest, I'm not sure that I would actually recommend doing what I'm doing today. More of that a little bit later. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. So, as I said, I am at the Pink Salt Lake in Torre Vieca. And if you watched my last video when I talked about you know plans and updates, this was a location that I said I wanted to come back to. Uh, I've done it before, but I've normally done it in the winter, or at least in autumn or spring. Uh, and whenever I've been here, it's not been pink. But today it is pink, and I think that's because it only ever really gets pink in the summer, and that's got something to do with the minerals or whatever it is that react with the water to give it this pink colour. Now I also said in my last video that I was intending to come here and do an early morning shoot here, and that was actually what I planned to do. Unfortunately, my car packed up, or at least developed a fault, which meant I couldn't drive it until I got it fixed. So it's been in the workshop and it's now been fixed. But it means that the early morning shoot wasn't possible and the only opportunity I've got this week to come out and do some photography is this afternoon. So I've come here, even though it's the middle of the afternoon, and I actually kind of thought, you know what, it might actually be that, you know, like some nice harsh sort of midday, mid-afternoon sun is actually what's going to be best to bring out that pink colour, which I'm hoping is going to show up on the video and on the photos, because it is actually really quite a striking pink colour. Now, I was also hoping there's not going to be too many people around. I can see there's the odd few people about, but I'm hoping there's not going to be big crowds around here, which uh, also means I'm hoping that I'm going to get the opportunity to uh, you know, get into some different locations and get a few different compositions here. Uh, there's some posts in the water. Uh, I was kind of hoping I might find some like uh, an area with some salt deposits on because that could be quite interesting but we'll have a little wander around and see what we can find. go for a pretty simple composition to start with there's a few rocks in the water and then one of the wooden posts in there so I'm just bringing the rocks in just from slightly to the left of center of the frame leading out to the post which is just a fraction off center to the right of the frame and hopefully with um, some nice pink water in there now I will say that I've brought the tripod because I had a feeling I'd probably want to do some long exposures to take the ripples out of the water. Uh, so I'm going to pop on, well, probably a 10 stop first and see what we can get with that. Okay, so I've done a shot with a 10 stop filter on. That's letting me get six seconds. Now that might be okay, but I also want to run a longer exposure. What I'm going to do is pop a three stop on as well. That should let me get a minute there or thereabouts. Um, now I'm actually doing two shots because I'm shooting at 22 mil and the rocks in the foreground are actually pretty close. So I'm going to focus stack one on the post and one on the rocks. Uh, obviously for a six second exposure, that's pretty quick. For a one minute exposure, it takes a little bit longer. I shot that first composition with the camera quite low, which meant the post is breaking the, the far coastline, if you like. 
Now that was a deliberate decision, but honestly, I'm not sure it's the right one. So I'm doing another one with the camera up higher so that the post isn't breaking the far coastline. But obviously that puts less emphasis on the rocks in the foreground. And I guess it's just a case of seeing which one works the best. said at the beginning of this video that I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing what I'm doing today. Now the reason for that is it's middle of July and we've got a heat wave here. The temperature today, this afternoon, is around 35, maybe 36 degrees and uh, if you believe some of the apps it feels like the low 40s so it's very very hot. And in fact, the recommendation is not to be out at this time of day. Um, but you know, if you're going to come out at this time of day, you know, it's important to take appropriate precautions. Uh, you know, I'm wearing a hat. I'm covered in high fact, high protection factor suntan lotion because I burn very easily. Um, I've not gone somewhere which involves a lot of walking, um, particularly nothing strenuous. In fact, I'm only a five minute walk from the car. So if I start to get overheated, I can get back to the car, get the air conditioning on and cool down pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna limit the amount of time that I'm out. I'm not gonna be out here for hours because it is just too hot. And most importantly, plenty of water because it is very, very warm. I'm going to do another shot here. I've turned almost 90 degrees from the angle I was shooting. And what I've got is some of the posts running across the scene. Now, the composition that I've got set up is keeping all of the posts above the horizon line. And what actually happens is the post goes out and then they turn at right angles and go back in towards the shore. Now, that kind of breaks the composition. So I've done it very carefully so that the first one, if you like, after the right angle turn is out of the frame. So it, it angles across quite nicely and creates quite a nice line across the scene. Um, it also avoids some of the less picturesque side of one side of the, uh, uh, of the lagoon or the, the salt lake, whatever you want to call it here as well. And again, I'm going to run this as a long exposure. And this is almost certainly going to be a 16 by 9 crop to take out a bit of the sky and then maybe even a little bit at the bottom of the frame as well. Don't need to focus stack this one though because it's uh, there's nothing really really close. So I've already focused and we'll just run a one minute exposure. Again 10 stop and 3 stop to get that one minute exposure and we'll see what it looks like. There's uh, quite a few people turned up here now. Uh, I'm trying one more very, very simple shot. Just two posts, long exposure. Both of the posts are below the horizon uh, in the background, uh, hopefully with kind of like shadows or reflections, probably more reflections, sticking down. Again, I'm going for the long exposure to try and flatten everything out, uh, but very, very simple. It's going to finish in a second.
yeah it's very hot quite a lot of people have turned up now um, I'm doing one more shot uh, over right over in the background there there's these huge white hills of salt because they do salt extraction from here um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting those right in the background with just a couple of the posts in the foreground um, again it's a telephoto shot just about 55 mil um, one minute exposure again just to smooth the water out I was going for a vertical composition but I'm not entirely convinced that's the best option what I'm actually thinking is to go for a slightly more zoomed in horizontal composition probably still just two posts in there but uh, I think it might just be a little bit stronger and I'm not sure if I need to adjust the height a little bit the reason I'm not sure about the vertical there was too much dead space at the bottom and the top and the only way it would work is as a square crop I just can't help but think we might be better off horizontal but uh, more zoomed in Do you know what, I think repeated long exposures in this heat is starting to just cause my camera to have a few little problems. Um, and I think it's causing me to have a few little problems as well because it's extremely hot, very humid as well. We've got like 85, 90% humidity, so it's, it's pretty uncomfortable. And I think it's time to head for home. And uh, I think it may have worked out well because I don't think somehow that at sunrise or sunset, the pink of this lake is going to come through as much as it does during the day when you've got direct sunlight on it. I don't know, I'll probably still try and do a sunrise here in the not too distant future, but uh, doing it in the daytime might have been the best option, I don't know. But I'm hoping to do something else next week, which probably will be an early morning, but probably not here. We'll have to see. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've got a few images that really show you what this pink lake is like and I'm hoping that the pink has come out on the video as well. If you've enjoyed this video, you know the routine, likes, shares, comments, all really appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my stuff and you haven't hit subscribe yet, now would be a great time to hit that button. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.